l'adjectif avec que et une proposition complétive. Ok, so let's see now how it will go. So, remember that it will be possible in some cases to construct or to make a structure that will, well, that will have uh, l'adjective and then que after. So, remember this que means that. Okay, and then it will be followed by une proposition complétive. So, it does mean that at least one verb or one verb and then complements. Okay, so subject, verb, and complements. So adjective, and then que, that, and followed by une proposition complétive. Okay, the important thing is that uh, most of the adjectives uh, won't match uh, these requirements, so it won't be possible to make this structure with most of them, but we're talking in that case about les adjectifs qui exprime un sentiment. So the adjectives that will express feelings. Okay? Un sentiment, a feeling. Alright? So we will see a few examples. And the first one is être content que. Okay? So you can see that you've got the verb to be and then here you've got your adjective and it's followed by que. Okay? And the rest should come. Être désolé que. Exactly the same thing, you get désolé and then que. Être bouleversé, que. Être choqué, que. Être indigné, que. Okay, so, être content, que. Être désolé, que. Être bouleversé, que. Être choqué, que. Être indigné que. Être fier que. Être embêté que. Être ennuyé que. Être gêné que. Être embarrassé que. All right, so exactly the same structures. You get your adjectives. They are followed by que, okay? And then the rest should come. Être fier que. Être embêté que. Être ennuyé que. Être gêné que. Être embarrassé que. Être furieux que, être ravi que, être confus que, être déçu que, être mécontent que, être furieux que, être ravi que, être confus que, Être déçu que. Être mécontent que. One thing important. If you look at this sentence, je suis content que je sois ici, it is a common mistake. Okay? So it's not possible to have. Here in the first part, je, and here in the second part, the same person. Okay? So, je suis content que je sois ici is not possible. In that case, you will have to change the structure and you will have to put je suis content and then you don't continue with que and the sentence, but then you will put your verb at the infinitive. Je suis content d'être ici. Okay, this is a common mistake, okay, so try to remember that. So it does work for je, but then I've been putting this example as well, because it's exactly the same. If it's tu, and then tu, if it's il, and il, if it's nous, well, basically, if you've got the same person in the first and the second part, then it doesn't, it doesn't work, okay? So tu es content que tu sois ici, it's not possible, but then 
tu es content d'être ici. Ok euh, Je suis content que tu sois ici. Je suis désolé que tu sois ici. Je suis bouleversé que tu sois ici. Je suis choqué que tu sois ici. Je suis indigné que tu sois ici. Ok So, in all these structures, you can see that it works because you've got je in the first part and then you've got tu in the second part. So, they are not the same person, so it's possible. Ok So, je suis content que, je suis désolé que, je suis bouleversé que, je suis choqué que, je suis indigné que. If you noticed we are talking here about les adjectifs qui expriment un sentiment and maybe it rings a bell because unfortunately for you when we're talking about this structure que and then you express a feeling un sentiment then you will have to put le subjonctif right after okay and that's probably what you noticed but then now you can see it more clearly that in all the structures that all the sentences have been putting previously here, here, and here, we've got le subjonctif. Okay, so keep in mind that for this type of structures, when you put this adjective that will express a feeling, then it's followed by que, and then you've got a structure after, you should put your verb here and here at the subjunctive form. Okay?